This video is just for fun, based on general information and it's not scientifically or medically proven anywhere. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Shruti and I hope you all are doing great. Today's video is going to be a different and an interesting one. Testing gender prediction through old wife tales. This is basically a traditional belief that was believed in the past that is uh, testing or guessing the baby's gender by looking at the pregnant women's tummy shape, food cravings, morning sickness and so on. Mine was a planned pregnancy and like any other mother, I was so curious to know about my baby's gender. But in India, it is illegal to know the baby's gender during the pregnancy phase. So I had tested few old wives tales and I will be sharing my experience of how many were right among them. Also, I want you to know that it is okay to have preferences like I want a girl or I want a boy. But it's not okay to feel disappointed if you didn't get the gender you wanted to. All we need to pray is to have a healthy baby. With that note, let's get started. So the first one is carrying high or low. If your baby bump is high, it's a girl. And if it is low, it's a boy. In my case, I was carrying low. So one vote goes for boy. The second one is food cravings. If you crave more for sweets, it's a girl. And if you crave for salt and sore food, it's a boy. In my case, this went wrong. I was craving more for sweets, chocolates and kheer. So the vote goes for girl. The third one is shape of baby bump. If you're carrying the baby in the front, it's a boy. And if the baby bump has been spread all over, it's a girl. Uh, in my case, uh, I was carrying the baby in the front. So one for boy. The fourth one is linear nigra. That's a line that appears on tummy during your pregnancy. If that line is dark and uh, it extends above the belly button, it's a boy. And if the line is uh, lighter in shade and it's short, it's a girl. In my case, it was uh, dark and it also extended above my belly button. So that goes for a boy. Fifth one is morning sickness. If you've got excessive of nausea and morning sickness during your pregnancy, it's said that you're carrying a girl. And if you doesn't have any kind of the symptoms, it is said that you're carrying a boy. But in my case, this was totally wrong. Starting from my second month until fifth month, I was continuously vomiting and was admitted many times. So this one goes for a girl. Sixth one, this pregnancy glow. If your skin is glowing and there is no breakout on your face, it's said that you're carrying a boy. And if there is a lot of acne over your face and you're looking dull, it's a girl. So in my case, uh, I didn't get any breakout and I had the glow on my face during my pregnancy. So uh, this one goes for a boy. Seventh, cold feet. If your feet is colder than your uh, body temperature, it's a boy. And if it is warm or of normal temperature, it's a girl. In my case, this was completely true because throughout my pregnancy, uh, I had cold feet. That goes for a boy. Eighth one, uh, hair and nail growth. If you're carrying a boy, your hair growth and nail growth will be tremendous. And if it is a girl, uh, the growth rate would be much more slow. So in my case, this was true. So this goes for a boy. Ninth one is active or energy level. If you are active during your pregnancy, it's a boy. And if you feel lazy and tired throughout your pregnancy, it's a girl. In my case, I was active soon after my vomiting had stopped and I used to do few light exercises, household chores. Maybe that is the reason I had a normal delivery. So this one goes for boy. Tenth one, this baby's heartbeat. If a baby's heartbeat per minute is over 140, it's a girl. And if it is less than 140, it's a boy. Now this one has to be checked during your final scan. Why? Because during my first and second trimester, it was always high. It indicated 178 and then it dropped to 160 and at the final scan it was 138. So in my case, this is right and this vote goes for boy. 11th one is the funniest among all. Your partner's weight increases if it's a girl and it will decrease or it will remain the same if it's a boy. Don't know what this has to do with our pregnancy. Anyway, in my case, this was right. His weight remained the same. So now this vote goes for boy. The last one is pendulum test. This one is done on pregnant women's belly by using a thread and her wedding ring. Hang it over the belly and wait for it to move. If it swings back and forth, it's a girl. And if it moves in a circular motion, it's a boy. 
In my case, this was right and again this goes for a boy. So out of 12, 10 goes for boy and 2 for girl. I made this video because I know every mom would be curious to know about the baby's gender. Do this in a fun way. Do not stress too much about the baby's gender. All we need to have is a healthy baby. If you enjoyed watching this video, do like, share and subscribe and comment me your experience if any. That's a wrap for today. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, bye.